Hey everyone, I'm filming a video as you can see and see my face and see my hands and see everything. I'm filming a video. I don't know if I did one last week um, because I was busy with stuff so I wasn't able to, but I'm going to be filming a video today about the essentials. What I think every woman whether they wear makeup infrequently or they wear it every day, what I think every woman needs, their essentials, like the core things that should be in your makeup kit, your caboodle, your whatever you want to talk, whatever you want to call it. And I have my handy dandy list to help me out because I can't remember them. Oh, first things first, for whether you wear a lot of makeup or a little makeup, you need a good skincare regimen, whether it's Clinique or Unique or Mary Kay or uh, Ronan Fields, whatever it may be, have a good skincare regimen because makeup starts with the skin first and inside your body. So if you have a good diet, if you take good vitamins, and if you take care of your skin, your makeup will look its best. So if even if you buy, say, the cheap makeup, but you don't take care of your skin, you know, it's not going to look well. But if you take care of your skin, any makeup will look better when you have better skin. If that made any sense. Um, so proper skincare regimen, I do the Unique Face Wash. And it's probably the best face wash that I've ever tried. And of course, being a makeup addict, I've tried a lot. But it really makes my face feel clean. And it seems to get everything off. I don't have to scrub if I don't want to, which is really nice. Um, and you just, it lathers up and it just takes everything off. So that's, that's awesome. Because usually with some of the face washes that I've tried in the past, you have to like scrub in your skin and scrub in your eyes to get the makeup off. And I just really don't want to put that wrinkle in my face any more than they already are. And so number one, skincare regimen, no matter what it is, skincare regimen. I use a face wash, a, um, what was it called? An astringent. And then I also recommend a night and day face cream and an eye cream because, hello ladies, we don't want wrinkles, so why not prevent them now? Yes. Okay, so number one, skincare regimen, whatever you need it to be, get it, do it every day, twice a day, just like brushing your teeth, wash your face. Okay, one, skincare. Two, a makeup remover. This is, I think this is a must. All these on the list, I think, are a must. But a makeup remover is really a way to get the makeup off your skin or get your mascara off without doing damage to your skin. But that's why I love the Unique Face Wash because I don't really need a makeup remover. But for waterproof mascara or thick, heavy foundation, it would be really nice to have that in your kit just if you ever need it. And also, there are a few other uses for it besides just makeup, but that's a different video. So two, a makeup remover if your face wash doesn't do it for you. And then third is however you apply your makeup, whether it be your fingers, Q-tips, sponges, brushes, uh, whatever kind of tools you need, just make sure you have the right tools. And again, they don't have to be a hundred, four hundred dollar set of tools. You could go get a set of brushes from Target or from Walmart or sponges or Q-tips or use your phalanges and whatever works for you. Just make sure you have it all. Have everything you need. And okay, the fourth, third, fourth, whatever number we're on, I believe every woman should have a primer, a face primer in their makeup kit because whenever you're applying makeup, it's always good to have a primer. It acts as a shield between the environment and your skin and your skin and your makeup. So I'm, oh, I'm big into protecting my skin against everything, including age and myself. So I always put a primer on no matter what I wear underneath. And also it helps give you, helps you attain that flawless look that a lot of people are looking for, whether you just throw on a powder on top of your primer, it will matte it out and make it look more uniform. And I also wear a primer when I don't want to wear any makeup, uh, just going out to run errands, 
because it minimizes the looks of pores, it minimizes the looks of wrinkles, just makes your face more even and more smooth, and I'm all about that. So, four, primer. Um, the fifth thing I think you should have in your kit caboodle of makeup is a handheld mirror. I think it's, again, it's another essential because when you're doing makeup, any detailed makeup, or you can't get in the mirror in your bathroom, or you don't have a mirror, this puppy is awesome. I travel with my mirror. I use it every single day that I do my makeup to do my mascara, to get into the detailed eyeshadows, and to look at my face up close so that I make sure my makeup looks good close up and far away. You gotta make it look good all the way, all, everywhere. So five, five, four, three, whatever. I'm just gonna start naming them off because there's a few. So into the foundations. I think every woman should at least have a light foundation, whether it be a BB cream, liquid, liquid, a cream, a powder, just one good foundation in your kit so that you can have it whenever you need to wear it, whether it's a day running errands or a day with a husband or a formal event or even a semi-formal event. There's going to be some time in the near future where you may need a foundation, so why not just have it in your kit already? And that way, if you have it in your kit, you're more likely to wear it. And so when it does come time to do your makeup for a formal event, you may not stress as much because you'll already have it in your kit and you'll know how to manipulate it to get it to the way that you want it to look. So, foundation ladies. Whatever your type, just I would suggest having one foundation in your, in your kit. The, sec the other face product that I, um, I would recommend is a powder. It is really good to finish off your makeup, whether you're wearing a really light BB cream or just a tinted moisturizer. A powder just all over finishes your makeup and looks it a little more flawless and settled and set. Also, if you're having a lazy day, just running errands, and you want to do something quick, Throwing on a little powder, a mascara, a little bit of blush and lip gloss is a great way to um, make you look like you've done a lot in a little amount of time. And, I mean, let's be honest, when you have just a little bit of makeup on, you feel just a little bit better. The other face product I think you should have in your kit is a bronzer. Um, this is an essential in my kit, no matter what. I have a bronzer. It goes with me everywhere, anywhere, whether I'm on a train, plane, car, scooter, bike. If I'm traveling, I have a bronzer with me because I can't live without one because, as you can see, I'm, I'm, a, little, I'm a little light. Just a tad bit light. So if I don't have a bronzer, then I really don't have any pigment to my skin. So... I believe a bronzer is essential because in the winter months and you get a little a little pale because you don't have any sun, then it's nice to have a bronzer just to brush it in the areas where the sun would, where you would be outside and where the sun would hit so along your forehead, just right over here and a little bit on your nose and on your cheeks and on your neck. It'd be great. It's a great just to kind of make you feel better. And give yourself a little pigment when you don't go tanning or the, the sun's not out and you can't get out. So please, I please believe I always have a bronzer. Um, and in my kit, an essential is a highlighter uh, to help with my little under eyes. But my favorite highlighter at the moment is, and probably for the past mm, five or six years, is the... Um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Brush on Glow, and I think I've mentioned it in a couple videos. This is a great highlighter with a little brush. Can you see the brush? With a little brush, and it's liquid, and it's great for a light concealer slash highlighter underneath your eyes on a no makeup days, and on heavy makeup days underneath your concealer to completely cover your under eyes. And it's also good to use as highlighting all over your face, and it's simple. It's not very expensive, and um, it's, it's easy to transport, so you don't have to take a huge highlighting powder or a huge two or three foundations to do the highlighting portion of your makeup. I just think every woman should have that, whether you wear a lot of makeup or a little makeup, throw on a little highlighter with a little bit of mascara, 
you feel a lot better and you will look a lot better because your under eyes will not be so dark. The next face product I think is really important for a makeup kit for y'all to have is two different types of blushes um, for if you want to achieve two different kind of spectrums of looks. If you want to go towards like what I have going on, like the dark eye, darkish eye, gray with black liner, I tend to go towards a pink and this is something something MAC blush. And so it's a little pink sparkly, and I use this for one spectrum of my makeup if I do blacks or if I do dark browns or what else do I use now? Purples, I'll use it with that. And then the other spectrum of my makeup when I do light browns or um, blues and light, um, not light grays, um, when I do some hot paints and whatever else when I do greens and stuff like that for my skin I like to use a more cre um, not cream more brown tan sparkly this is a glow by a Clinique um, color to make sure I have my blush covered on two different spectrums the pinks and then the browns um, and I always match it with my lip so I usually stay with those two types of colors of blushes so, two blushes, one pink, one kind of peachy, so that you can achieve a lot of looks with just two things, okay? Keep it simple. And you can have any variety of pink or any variety of the more peach or brown colored blush. So you just find the two that you like and you always have them for your kit. And then that way you can, no matter what kind of makeup or eyeshadow you want, you have two blushes to, to use and to go either way. It's important. You gotta have everything covered for any kind of look. The other product after blush is I uh, mascara. These are my two favorite kind of cheap store Walmart inexpensive brands. It's the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume, um, and I have them in black and brown. I use these under underneath my 3D um, unique. Lash Mascara, the black one, and the brown one for when I'm just running to go to Walmart or running errands and I don't, I want to look like I have eyelashes because mine are kind of light, so I look kind of scary without mascara. So I believe every woman should have a black and a brown or a taupe and a black. Black is great for formal events when you want to do really dark eyeshadows and brown is great for everyday use. So, black and brown. Done, done. And along with the highlighter, I think you should have a correct matching. All these things should correct be correctly matched to your skin. A correct match concealer for you. For you. Not for your mama, not for your dad, not for your auntie. For you. You need a good concealer no matter what. It's easy to just tap it on, cover up the, the blemishes and stuff you want to hide and go about your day and you'll feel a lot better. That being said, you may want to spend a little more than just the dollar store or Walmart for a concealer because that bad boy will probably last, like buying, spending a little more on it, like mm, go to Sephora and get one. Um, it will last longer, I've noticed, um, and it will wear better. I'm sure there are some really good concealers from Walmart, but I have yet to find any. So. And when it comes to my purple under eyes, I like to cover them. So a good concealer um, that matches your skin tone is an essential in your kit too. Because you never know when you're going to need it. I practically use mine every day. So just get a good concealer. The other, the last couple things I think are essential in your kit is a neutral eyeshadow. A kind of flesh tone, maybe with a little shimmer in it. I think is awesome for any woman's kit to have. So I go with, I don't have it right here with me. Um, I go with a color that's, that's close to my skin with just a little bit of shimmer and it's great for highlighting and it's also great for when you don't want to do your makeup. Okay, I'm all about easy no makeup makeup days. 
Um, a flesh tone, shimmery, flesh tone sounds so gross. But anyway, so a skin tone, shimmery color is great just to put all over your lids, throw on a little bit of brown mascara, a little bit of blush and lip gloss and you're done. I use mine for highlighting the area around my eyes, blending in my eyeshadow so I don't have a stark line and around my under eyes to make me look more awake when I don't get any sleep. So a skin tone, a little bit of shimmer, great, perfect, get it. The other eyeshadows, I think you should have, if you don't wear a lot of makeup, I think you should have like three or four complimentary colors in your kit. I've got like 50, 100 complimentary colors in my kit. But for blue eyes, a, a good light matte brown, a good mid shimmery, a copper is really good. I have, I think for another blue, because I've got blue eyes, a dark brown is really good for eyeliner. So find colors that complement your eyes. If you have brown eyes, you can go for a navy, I think is very essential for eyelining. Um, maybe a couple grays. Um, will help highlight, a, a gray will help highlight uh, brown eyes. What else? You want to go, if, if you look at a color wheel and you have brown eyes, you want to go to the opposite. So a blue, a cool tone colors will really highlight brown eyes. For blue eyes, you want to go on the opposite, which is brown. Or they say orange, but I haven't explored the orange spectrum of eyeshadows yet. So, if you've got purple eyes, you would go to the opposite. It's not that, it's not that bad. If you've got green eyes, you want to go towards the purples. You can do some cools, you can do some, some grays and stuff. So find four complementary eye colors and put them in your kit because really no matter the combination of those four complementary colors, it will look really good. And it will be really simple and you won't be overwhelmed with colors and you're trying to figure out what to wear on a daily basis or for a special event. And the last thing I think that, one of the last things I think is essential for a kit is some kind of lip thing. Whether you want clear lip gloss, I always have a, a pink toned and a brown slash, kind of like my blush, the glow, peachy color. I always have those with me no matter where I go to complement any looks that I choose and to match my two favorite blushes. So I think those are essential to, to lip glosses or to tinted, moist, tinted, tinted lip chapstick my bobs. I can't figure out what I'm trying to say. To lipsticks, just to something of the opposite spectrums, just like your blush. And of course, any Q-tips, cotton balls, Q-tips, a oh, lifesaver, and a bag to store it all in. So it's really, it's like 15 items. It's really not that bad. And you can get more than half of them at Target or Walmart and then that way. Or you can splurge and go to Sephora. I'm not opposed to going to Sephora ever. But I think these items are very essential to have in your kit, whether you want to wear a little every day or you have... A special events like military balls or you know I don't know weddings whatever so proper skin care makeup remover a handheld mirror and let's see what else the makeup applicators whatever you use your fingers you always got your fingers brushes whatever a foundation a powder, a bronzer, a bronzer is a must, that could be kind of iffy if you have pigment. I don't, so a bronzer is a must for me. A concealer, the highlighter, this bad boy will save your life. A highlighter, blush, mascara, a couple eyeshadows to help complement your eyeballs, and at least two lip colors to match your two blushes. Boom, like 15 items, 13 items. It's not that bad. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to comment below or message me. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.